Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Black Eyes for me, you know, Papa Amiga in the French Republic. So we have just uh, agreed to intervene in France and today we are going to start with assembling the international... No, let's go to support boom because we don't really need that fairly... Or 50,000 men? Was it 50,000? 50, 50,000 men at this point. Uh, what we can use though is the bonus to construction. So let us start with that. Uh, we do have quite a lot of political power now, so I'm thinking we might really want to do something here with it. Um, it would give us resource speed some more. Army experience, Our experience gain, navy. Armored cars and armor. Mm, what about here? Naval max range, submarine detection. Cavalry attack, well that's great. We have no cavalry guys, have you forgotten? Division attrition and division defense. And Air Force Command. Our experience gain. Bad weather penalty. Uh, here is. You know what? We're gonna get. Under fuel consumption. Let's get Henry Giro. He's gonna give us a bonus to doctrine research, but he's gonna give us also experience gain of plus. Uh, 10 daily, near, actually doubling our daily gain and that is kind of important for us because believe it or not we will need a ton of experience here so I'm thinking to give us a better idea on what we want to do uh, what us can we switch this or is it Okay, we're gonna wait for us to get further army experience. We're gonna add the tank cat, anti air, and anti tank support. Which might mean that we're not producing the anti air at all. That is not great. Okay, can do these. Can do magnetic detonator, improved engines, naval. Better catapult, better sonar, naval doctrines. Is there anything here that we could use that's not taking forever? Okay, these ones are actually pretty quick. Oh, destroyers, sub detection, depth charge organization. Naval hit chance, capital ship attack, screening efficiency, and positioning. Sure, okay. Fleet coordination, I think that one is a good idea for us. Then we're gonna get this one. Sea line defense. Study of past and contemporary battles will mean we can refine our fleet movements and operations, making our fleets more effective in combat. Okay, White Waffe AMD 80 is done. And we can now get the Dalahaya VLRD. What's the benefit here, really? I see. Reliability. Just reliability, huh? What if we just got... Rounded. Rounded? Okay, let's get the add-on armor and then the rounded armor. I'm thinking that might be beneficial for us in the future. So let's get the add-on armor. Oh, and we want to put you up for production because you are, believe it or not, not all that bad. Armored car free. Okay, producing you guys. Just put the tanks over here. Okay. 
We'll have to deploy a lot of these tanks, which is where the army experience is gonna come in very handy as well. So supporting Bloom. Now can we send voluntary uh, or volunteer the send volunteers? We can't. Why can't we? What didn't say that? Spanish Republic can send volunteer forces. Why don't they allow it? Person communist. Maybe it's too late. I, I really, honestly, don't know. Just a conjecture. Can you guys drill now. Okay, how are we doing? We should be much better. Yep, we got in most areas three divisions. Still need one more over here. Actually, no, we got... No, well, no, we still need a couple more divisions. But it's fine, I think we'll be able to fill the ranks. Okay, got another factor available. Yep, cannons are now at... Or the anti-tank cannons are now at max and the right... Artillery is missing only one factory. One per day. Okay. That gives me hope that at the start of the war we might have roughly the needed amount. Heavy artillery is nowhere near the numbers, but okay. Bloom's reforms aren't as effective as Franz thought they would be, but he is heading in the right direction. We should give him more power to reform society. So conversion from civilian to military is cheaper by 10%. Social democratic support increased infrastructure, increased construction by 15%. Airbase construction increased by 10%. Civilian factory increased uh, construction speed by 5%. The air assembly plant and power plant both get 10% extra. And the railway is 7.5%. Not all, not all of that is actually all that good for us, but it's gonna give us bonus to the civilian production which is also pretty good I mean what the hell I mean at this point we just keep offsetting the effects of the military factories so I guess good for us chemical industry 23 days dispersed industry 45 days Add on armor, advanced machine tools, 21 days. Yep. The industry is gonna get a massive boost once again. Uh, and uh, we're producing a decent amount of aircraft, about three pieces per week at maximum efficiency, which is not great. Uh, we should be doing more, but due to our limited capacity and huge deficits, it's as best as we can do. The Japanese army embraces Nanshinron. The armed forces of Japan have long acknowledged that Empire of Japan does not possess the natural resources needed for a prolonged war effort. With rising tensions and outbreaks of armed conflict involving the world's major powers, the threat of loss of import seems greater by the day. To counter this, the Japanese strategists have come up with a strategic plan to seize western colonies in Southeast Asia and the Pacific. These resource-rich regions will fuel the Japanese war machine and allow it to continue more or less unhindered, as long as the colonial powers and the United States can be kept at bay. Well, holy hell, they got most of China already. That is... Wow! Look at that! Jesus, China, get a grip! Never have seen Japan do this well. Dang it, that's interesting to see. Ok, 
Okay, importing fuel will be done in 43 days, so I think we can tone it down a bit more. Get some extra factories. Yeah, can we actually have not enough now? So let's start building some more military factories, because that is what we need. I'll actually start putting in some radars once we get the access. The German Reich claims Memo. With German forces on their border post to attack, Lithuania has given in to a German ultimatum demanding the surrender of the old Prussian territory of Memo. It was passed to Lithuania by the Treaty of Versailles, but has now been reintegrated into the region of Ostpreußen. Have we yet reached the extent of German territorial ambitions in Europe? Experts are doubtful. Are they already annexed uh, Czechoslovakia? Uh, Poland is next. How are the Poles doing? Can we see... Damn, they actually got a decent amount of factories. And a fair amount of soldiers as well. Okay, what? Newport LN401. Oh, and the war in Spain is done. Huh. Will that cancel our... Uh, I guess not. I guess our Spanish war crisis continues? That's interesting. But we can now get a closer support uh, aircrafts built. The war in Newport LN411 it was a land-based development of the LN-401 carrier dive bomber. So whether that, whatever that is, it's better than what we had. The end of the Spanish Civil War. With the surrender of the last Republican strongholds, the Spanish Civil War has come to an end. The Nationalists stand victorious, and a new era begun for Spain. The war-torn country has suffered greatly in the fighting, and there is much rebuilding to be done. No kidding. Let's hope that they will be able to do it. Okay, chemical industry and sniper teams are done. And the advanced machine tools. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. So now the production for all of our equipment is increased. Cool. So what can we do next? industrial development we need to boost production even more if possible so this one is way too far ahead the supply grace won't help much military production too requires concentrated industry which is going to be done in 13 days okay then we'll jump into this one that's fine uh, you're finishing construction free okay so that's going to give us me Okay, defense works. Well, the air defense initiative would be good. There was housing here, wasn't there? Yeah, and civilian factory. This is really expensive. So what about engineering? Strategic bombing. Infantry radios. Tank radios. Rocket damage. Okay, you know what? You're gonna get the wood fire engines because that's cheap. You can get us a better white artillery. New habits of design taking advantage of new hydraulic recoil devices and longer barrels. Actually, it wasn't there. We wanted the sniper teams. And a few of the universe would get. That the weight of the cannons. Now we're producing way more white um, artillery, so we need that one. And here we can do. I guess fuel refining to or the power plants. Let's get the improved power plants. We're already pushing to hundred percent. So let's get that done. Those are really all just support small things, but this first industry free is good because that's gonna give us access to military production too. Restrictions upon Bulgaria lifted. The Greek government has agreed to rearmament of the Bulgarian military. After the Great War, Bulgaria has been limited in its military efforts and production. It has a record of abiding to them, however, which convinced the Greeks that the effect should be lifted. 
Okay. Good for us. Okay, so we assemble the international region. Uh, now let's unite the popular front. With the reform done, we must now stop fighting amongst ourselves and stay united. The front will not collapse and we will fight for France and the Liberté, Egalité, Fraternité. So we lose penalty to war support, weak stability and daily political power because that's the best one for us. And war support as well because we really need to do something with that. Hopefully it's gonna get better. Hmm. Okay, light artillery is now at max. So I'm gonna produce more. I think I'm gonna add one more factory so that we can have roughly one and a half per day. Yep, like this. Or two per day, actually. This, this might get us to two per day. Zok submits to Italy. An ultimatum has been delivered to the Albanian government by Italian diplomats, demanding that they submit to a complete military occupation. King Zog has abdicated after realizing the futility of resistance, and Albania will now be ruled in personal union under King Vittore Emmanuel III. The Kingdom of Italy looks to the Balkans. Hungary leaves the League of Nations. Hungary rips apart the League of Nations membership. Today, just hours after announcing the Treaty of Trianon, which cost Hungary almost 14 million of its 21 million inhabitants, Hungary informed the League of Nations that the presence of its ambassadors within the Hungarian border is no longer tolerated, and that not one pango more would make its way into the League pockets. Thus, Hungary fulfilled its national promise and mantra, Nem Nem Soha, No No Never, and the League of Nations suffers another blow. By now, analysis have come to the conclusion that the League is bordering on total insignificance and the ramifications of this are yet to be seen. Well, okay, with the heavy artillery next, we'll start focusing, because the ones here well, with the exception of the transport trucks, those we need, but other than that... Yeah, let's put you guys up here, because you are the only ones that are not... Yep, okay, so we need to get the horse transports and the transport trucks in order, and the heavy artillery, and then we're done. Uh, and all that we will do from then is basically a nice to have. Which is a good feeling. We're managing to uh, equip our infantry and everything. So, this first industry free is done. Military production 2 is actually very ahead of time. Quite ahead of time. Surprisingly so. Hmm. Uh, so we finished the add-on armor, now let's get the... Well, let's get the car. I mean, we can. Small vehicles and other cars used for liaison and transport in the field. It's not gonna play a big vital role, but... Production efficiency or attention. Factory repair speed is a really big one, though. And the military logistics. So let's get the army fuel capacity at 10%, that's going to be important, and supply range. Uh, that is directly a military technology, but I think it will benefit us. Okay, free on refrigeration is done, so we are losing less rations now. And we could actually get more rations, which is a big thing. Okay, so let's get the commercial food processing 84 days, because we will need to import them eventually to keep our army from starving. But I'm hopeful that we will be able to keep our lanes open to United States. And early radar! Early radar is done. The decimetric radar is way too ahead of time though. The signals intelligence, avionics... Mm, research Core HQ to support battalions. Hmm. 
Okay, let's go over the radios. Infantry radios. Providing the infantry with a radio enables the infantry to attack, defend with more concentrated focus. And we need to start building these bad boys. Okay, we'll build these three. And we're gonna get the symmetric radar down the line once we get a bit too closer. So that should cover this area. I think I also might need to get them here. Give me the radar, said the man. And what happened? Well, not much. Construction free will be done, after which we can start with the Air Defense Initiative. And at the end of the summer, we will have to start building up new things here. It's so expensive, though. Four thousand. Oh yeah, each one of them is four thousand. Oh god. Okay, like this I guess. So basically when we finish these factories, this is what we're gonna build next, because we need them ready. Hope your front has been united, which means we can now support democracy in Spain and end this crisis. So Spanish state gets the democratic influence. If we are going to offer our help in the civil war, we must ensure that the friendly government will arise from the chaos. No, well, I don't want the extra 40,000 to be quite honest in manpower. We'll just keep it where it is. Production is good. More than three anti tanks per day. Or anti tank cannon, just to make, you know, be precise. Closing on two white artillery pieces per day. And we're already putting more on the heavy artillery. Two, four, six. Yeah, this is the eighth we're gonna get from. From Algier. And the three factories we're building are over here. Okie dokie. Well, it's not great. There's still so much to be desired, but. Okay, and we finished uh, yet another project of. Growth. So let me send you guys in here. And we don't really have much in terms of naval experience. It's not great. Okay then, no? That means... Interwar cruiser. And yeah. We can build a couple of these. When we be done. Nineteen forty three. Great. Construction free is done. Boom. So get me. Yeah, we need the defense works. And for effectiveness. Okay, that's pretty good. Adoption of modern vehicles and experience from our advancement in construction can be applied to make repairs on defense works vastly quicker. Okay, now let me see you guys. If we wanted to switch you to infantry division, we would be missing a little bit of infantry equipment, a little bit of field uniforms, some white artillery, a ton of horse transports and white anti-tank, and heavy artillery. But even manpower would be a problem. Uh, 
how well uh, would you yeah you have high defense though so it might make more sense to actually your these guys Bugatti got his son so it might make more sense to actually equip you our For example, if I just gave you the light tank... Like so... We will be doing better. 4419... How much does regular infantry have so that we have an idea? Because we do have light tanks. 72, so that's not great, but heart attack would be the same. You'd have higher defense, same breakthrough, much more armor and piercing. But that doesn't really work. Hmm. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Italy and Germany have expressed many conflicting interests, particularly in Austria and, on, and the Balkans. Uh, this is this has not, however, prevented the country's foreign policies growing ever friendlier towards each other, and negotiating and negotiations are underway for pact that will protect common interests. If negotiations are successful, we could see an alliance that will be able to exert great influence in Central and Eastern Europe. We finished the wood fire engines and we finished the democracy support in Spain. We have given the Spanish people the tools they need to forge their own future. If there is a will, there is a way. Now we just need to make sure the Spaniards choose the correct way. After giving the Republicans some massive amounts of aid for the civil war, we can demand that they keep communists out of their government and that they keep a safe distance away from the Soviets. The Spaniards will choose their own destiny. Yeah. 